Hi, welcome to MTG. My name is Ken, and today we are playing Ezrum Agent Chief from the new Karlov Manor set. But before we get into that, you've probably noticed, maybe if you watch the videos, that everything looks entirely different. Uh, it's because I have upgraded my setup and have also relocated my recording space. So we are officially now in the game room, which is where I spend most of my time anyways when I do have free time, which isn't very, very not very often. But we have a new desk setup, we have a new microphone, we have a new camera, full upgrade, and I'm super excited. So hopefully this just improves the overall quality of the videos as well as the content in general. So I would love to know if you think it's improvement or if you have any suggestions because I'm fully open to them at this point. It's kind of, I'm just still figuring it out and uh, getting the handle for things. So enough of that, back to the deck. This is an Azorius. I went for more of a go wide artifact strategy. It was fun. I really enjoyed it. I really like the commander. I've had a bit of an interest in it for a while now to maybe even build in paper, but I have too many artifact decks as is. So it's kind of preventing me from building it. But so I built it on arena. And it's been a lot of fun. I had quite a bit of good luck for it. And if I'm being honest, the algorithm or however it matches up on Arena was fantastic. I was playing against decks that were unique, went full into their theme or strategy. It was just a fun, refreshing play, to be honest. So hopefully you enjoy that. If you like this content, uh, like, subscribe, leaving a comment is always appreciated. Please let me know if you've run this commander or your thoughts on this commander because I think it's a cool one, and it might have gone kind of under the radar for a lot of people. Without further ado, let's jump into the deck tech, and then into the gameplay. All right, hello friends. Today we are playing the Ezrum Agent Agency Chief deck. I don't know why I had a hard time saying that. Not a hard name, but this is a 5-5 Archon Detective with flying. Whenever it enters the battlefield, investigate twice, so you get two blue tokens, and then you can pay one, a second artifact, and you give Ezrum Vigilance, Lifelink, or Hexproof. So for this deck, uh, I know a lot of people build this kind of Ultron style. For me, I wanted to go more go wide artifacts because if you know anything about me is I love a good old artifact deck. So that's what I have here. It's really trying to put a lot of, not just clues. I have a lot of things that make clues. I have the Novice Inspector. I have the Thraben. They, they're the same card. Uh, essentially but i have a lot of things i was just trying to flood the board i have the skrull's hive i have the servo schematic which is a bit of a two for one forensic gadget here is a new card myrel creates artifacts just a bunch of things that create a bunch of artifacts and then on the kind of top end or i should say more the payoff side of things because i have a lot of things that care about artifacts i have the, all that glitters uh gives plus one plus one for each artifact enchantment the Thousand Moon Smithy creates essentially a construct. It's a it's a gnome, but it's the same thing. It gets, you know, plus X plus X, where X is in artifacts you control, so it's pretty much a construct. Uh, similar thing with the Cephalopod Sentry is this power is equal to the number. Just a lot of things that care about having lots of artifacts. Resplendent Angel is one of the cards I want to call out because I think it's fantastic in this deck. You're giving your commander a lifelink for one mana. You're hitting for five, gaining five life. The Resplendent Angel triggers, and you're creating some big, beefy angels. So a big recommend. This one. I don't know how I feel about this card yet. I played it. I got to cast it twice. Both times it didn't do anything, really, unfortunately. But it's... It has potential. I think there's something here. I mean, once, the, once you get privy to it, I think it's... You know maybe not gonna be as good but the idea is you're essentially choosing a number secretly between 1 and 20. when an opponent casts a spell with the mana value equal to the number you choose you get to copy it and then you essentially get the spell so if it's a creature you get a copy of it if it's an instant sorcerer you get to cast it and it's also a clue so it does do the normal clue thing but i don't know if it's good yet give it a try and let me know if if you play with this or if you what you think of it because the verdict is out for me Without further ado, let's uh, let's jump into the gameplay. All right, we are up against Dovan. Oh, it's a battle of the Azorius. We're gonna lose. We're not controlling enough against Azorius. I'm gonna crumble. Uh, opening hand is not the best. I love these, but we need it's only a little lower to the ground. Like this. This is actually fantastic. Okay, we will start with Skyland. Yeah, 
I'll, I'll take that off. Oh, sure. Take for me as I put my stuff up. There we go. New setup, you know. Iron it up kings. Okay, turn two. Oh, all right, this feels good. All right, we'll throw down the signet into the inspector. Get ourselves a blue token. All right, we're cooking with gas now. I go for the maze mine. Leave two men open. Are they going to use it? They are they're going to foretell? So they just foretell a sock coming. I don't know that for sure. But I have a hunch. Uh, let's just keep the ramp train going. I think. I think. We will swing in on their end to crack that clue. I believe next turn we should be able to get our commander too. And then with the commander with the resplendent angel, we can start making some bodies. Feeling yeah, good. Feeling hopeful. How long till that's dashed away? <laughs> um and stuff, we will find out who done it. Want it always with respawn, always the maze mind zone. Ooh, might stone a weak stone. Good hit, good hit. So, at one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So, we can we're gonna tap this in case it gets blowed up. We don't want it to get blowed up. Oh, commander. We can now give it what we need. We could also uh, pouch it as well, which. Yeah, this more clues. So I think the plan now is to get the Splendid Angel out and then give our commander a lifeline. Doom Scar. Okay. Well, in that case, XL feature, then return the credit to the Hmm. Well. That's okay. Delayed a little bit. We'll, we'll, we'll get through it. I believe. Kind of cloud shifted to get more clues, but I would think I'd rather save it for a more opportune moment. Because it would still have our commander come right back down. Oh, are the counter spells going to start now? That wasn't even the foretold card, so it is saw coming. It has to be. Ooh, wash away. That's pretty good. We will pass the turn. Scry two, draw two. Oh, it was behold the multiverse. I'm a liar. I could wash away it. Do I care? I I don't think I care. I think I'd rather use a wash away on the commander. Well, they did scry two to the two to the two. Oh my god! They did scry two to the top. That was a mouthful, so that concerns me a little bit. It'll be fine. What's the worst that can? I thought I had my lip track on. All the way upstairs. I hope you're happy I shared that pertinent information. <laughs> Alright. We have the wash away. We can hard. No, we can't. It needs two blue pips. We have the Patriarch's Humiliation if we need. Here. Is this where we wash away? Do they have a counter spell to our counter spell? Only one way to find out. I assume they probably have a counter. Spell. They don't. All right. I'll have to give it to Azorius for not running a million counter spells. They're not running any, actually. So, back to blue. Draw a 
card. Ooh. This card's interesting. I haven't actually got to really play with it yet. Do we have mana for you? We don't. So we're still going to be short. Okay, so as it enters the battlefield, secretly choose a number between 120. When an opponent casts a spell with mana value equal to the chosen number, you sack it. Do you copy that spell? Is this like a... Is this like a cheeky way to get around a counter spell? I don't know. I've never played. I don't even remember when this card. Like it says, eight twenty four. I think it was just released, but I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about it yet. We'll see. Usually, I think the default is to run it as uh, like a choose a commander value, and that way you guarantee essentially getting a copy of the opponent's commander. Alternatively, like I'm debating if I should just go for two mana and hope that maybe if they counterspell something later, I can. Hmm. Then that's only like a one time. So they can really bait it out quite easily. Let's go three. Let's see if this is the answer. The nice thing is we don't know. A little worried for not the Rhystic Study if they're holding up. Miana. Maybe this will be the test to see if the lockbox gets uh saves us from a counter spell. Oh, just drawn a card. Okay. Alright, we survive. I think I'm going to hold up the fairies the fairies protection. It's been a long day. All right, and there we have it. Uh, curious to see what they had in hand, but I mean, I'll take it. I, mean, I think we got a lot done here. <laughs> Wish I got to see what this would do, but maybe, uh, maybe next game. Anyways, GG's. All right, up against the uh, ooh Kaito Dancing Shadow. Uh, this is the newer Kaito, I believe. All right, Skrell's Hive and Myrel. Love these cards. Feel slightly on the slow side. This doesn't feel much better, but we'll keep it. We do have the Urza. Chandler's nice. Resplendent Angel's fantastic if we can get our commander up and running. So hoping we hit something to give us a little bit early mana. Okay. Can't get all our wishes and dreams. A bit of a slow start. But I feel good. I feel like we can do this. It's Demir. That's cool. I don't think I've ever seen this art before. They're very on Kaito brand. They got the uh, this and they got the sleeves and here's our ramp. Turn too late. Hmm. This combat damage shoot player, that player loses a life and mills a card, then I gain they gain one scar one of you attack for creature can't be blocked this turn. Do we go for the tempo swing or do we go for the ramp? I am going to say tempo. We're gonna bounce you. Now we're playing control. <laughs> Mindstone probably. Hopefully we had a land too, actually. Perfect time. And let's go Urza into Mindstone. That feels good. We will not attack. So we'll get in now next turn. Looking our stuff. Take the Aether Channeler, if anything. Can't be blocked. We go down. We mill. Ooh, a Sunfall. I don't know if I need that right now anyway, so maybe that's not the worst thing. I think I want to land. No land, we hit the Day of Judgment. 
we go for the Mondrak at this point? And then hopefully next turn we can go into the commander. We'll still be short. The thing about this commander is you always kind of want to cast it as if you, it was a six mana commander. Because you always want to have that one to protect it. I think we're just going to go into the Mondrak. I don't think they have a counter spell. And they have the mana up if we need to. One, two, three, four. No attacking. I guess we need to make it indestructible. We'd have to lose the mind storm. Ooh, Ashiok. Current target on a permanent. Welcome to my domain, Lane's Walker. Go for the circuit mentor thing. Fade into mm. the shadows. Slight change of plans. Mm -hmm. Do that. That was a minus ability. I think we just run out the Mondrak one more time. And we. Oof. Annoying thing is, they just have such good. Block. Why are they all 1 3s? <laughs> it's such a. Those are such good blockers. Probably why, because they're 1 3s and it's a Planeswalker deck. Two, three. Rumming bird. I am almost tempted to. Let's see. I. So this is my opponent. I'm not impressed. I think I need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Has minions, and then we will I be board wiping minions. next turn, most certainly, because they're tapped out. Ton of Take it easy. I've got this. Feels right. Ooh, let's run out the wellspring though first, since it's discounted. Urza um, is very good. I kind of feel like I hate to lose them, but looking in the board state. There's just really no other solution. Take the board wipe. Drone will bring us, and I think we go for Ashiok. Curse your wretched presence. Attack a block. I'll handle this one. It's fine. Ooh, an old phrase. That was a good thing. Don't the burn bird. Alright. I guess why not? Uh I think it's time to bring down the commander. We'll get four clues. Nice, nice. And unfortunately we cannot attack. So uh, we will definitely do this. Second you. They might be able to hit the commander now in response. Yeah. Fortunately, what they do. Move your command. Yes. My flank. Harassment. <laughs> Ooh. As the rise of the that is a that is quite the tempo swing they just made on us. Let's see the deal with this. Everyone look we can go mirror turn. Ooh, that's good. I don't know if I've ever really looked much at this uh Kaito. So we lost the Mondrak, which is very sad. We can go for the commander, we can go for Elish Norn. I think we go for the Elish Norn, right? Afraid. Let's see. 
Ugh, they can turn it into another... Because the proliferate, right? That's why. Ooh, I forgot about that. We're probably most certainly gonna lose Elish. Because of my own hubris. They're cool tokens. Yeah, you don't see this Kaito as much. Kinda cool. I'm kinda digging what it what it's up to. What it's doing. I just saw that. Can attack. I think we're also gonna sack it. I can run circles rate. around uh, you. We're gonna lose our two little treasure friends, which is sad. Don't want to block. Gosh, they're 29. We have done nothing. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna say goodbye to our two former friends. Into an Odawara. Not really what we're wanting. Let's show these scrap. Oh, that what real so good. And then I'll trace back. This deck is kicking our butts, and I'm not even mad at it. It's chaotic. I'm kind of enjoying this. All right. I think their defenses have to be down at this point. So we go for the one, two. Sadly, we don't hit Malkator because Malkator needs three. Which is a sad, sad day. I go for the one time. Okay. Do they have removal in hand? Are we going to fall for the same trick? The only thing is we need Ezreum to attack or we die. So we're going to attempt again and see if they have the... They don't. Okay. So that's good. Patience. We can... Gosh, 30 life. Ooh, down to one. Let's press our oh. Well, hey, I wasn't mad at that. GG's. Ooh, up against the Lord Xander deck. That doesn't bode well for us. So we need to be fast and efficient if we want to get ahead of this commander. This hand is not going to do that for us. This hand uh, bah, 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 is better. I'm not a fan of the two lands, but hey, you know what? We have mana rock at least. We have the lock box, lock box, which is kind of a funny. Uh, let's see, oh, wait. If we put that down and then chose seven because then we would get our own Lord Xander. That'd be kind of funny. But there's a meme. There's a bit of a meme move, I think. So, Grixis has trouble with enchantment. So I think we're going to throw down the Rhystic Study. I think we have the counter spell. We do have the offer. Brainstorm. We don't have the counter spell. Sweet. Offer, always great, fantastic counter spell, but it's a little scary when you're facing Xander because it's just two turns faster they get to their commander, and I'm not emotionally prepared for that yet. So let's hope it doesn't come to that. Oh, position. Do we refuse that offer? Well, let's see if they pay. Maybe that'll decide. I will try. Deals their hand. Do we counter it? Do we care? I think we do counter it, sadly. All that, and I counter it and give them the treasures anyways. Yeah, they're probably not mad at that. One, two, three, four, six, five, six. So we can go for their commander next turn. So, 
for the memes, uh, we're definitely going to throw this down into seven. I mean, this doesn't get countered. See if this works. And then otherwise, uh, this is white, which is annoying. Did we just throw down the Icor? Yeah. Maybe hit a land. Come on. Not a land. That's a. Do they have a land? I hope they have a land. I hope, I hope, I hope they go for the commander, because that's super funny. Is this a cast, right? Copy that spell, you may cast it. Oh, it's a tap land! No Xander this turn. No anything this turn. Interesting. What does it mean? It means they're probably running a counter spell. Next will target creature until it leaves the battlefield. Um, that's good. We probably want to save that. I think, do we bait out the their counter spell? We do this. Does this leave us some mana to counter? It does not. We do this. It does not. But if we do this, we can counter spell. So, yippee to that. Uh, I will draw a card. Question is. When it enters the battlefield, secretly choose a number whenever opponent casts a spell with mana value equal to that number. Sacrifice this. You copy that spell. We're gonna let that wash away resolve. Pass the turn. They're on to us. <laughs> They're privy to our ways. What does this leave me with? Definitely not enough mana to counter spell. This now? It does if it taps or No, it doesn't. We're hurting for the right mana pips. We can cast this though. Let's cast this. Counter spell magic up. We counter it. And by all means. Probably gonna get removed. Oh, masters, that is okay. Yes. So that's this. Good card. Good card. Sure. I will draw a card. Okay. They lose. Oh. Interesting. Elish Norn is the Orcish Bowmaster Peck. Fly here first. And you know, not in like modern games or whatever. I don't know what I'm saying. Island. We're hitting our land drops. Gotta love it. Uh, We're kind of just still baiting things out at this point. That leaves us mana for the counter spell. Or do we go for the reflection net? Do we go for the Urza? I think we go for the Urza. We're really kind of sandbagging this game. At this point. Nice, nice. Thought monitor. I think we're hanging out. We will swing with the Elish. Oh. We pass. They they know the lockbox trick clearly. They're on to us. Creature opponent with power two or less. Oh, that's gonna get rid of our Urza. Do we want to stop that? Nah. They go for the Urza. I mean, I guess we probably wanted to counter it because we don't really want this to go off. It's 
fine. Yes, they are playing very defensively. Yeah, let's try this. Let's see if they have the answer. Sack of treasure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We counterspell this. Attack the very male soccer lighter that dies for your opponent's sack. Cast the normal permanency control. Oh, do we counter this? Let's counter this. I don't want to uh sandbag the entire night. Go down the island. Pass. Attack. Attack and then pass. Deals two. Ends of turn. So if they go for Xander, unfortunately we one creature on land. So they can only go for the nest. Unfortunately, we can't just oh right, counter their commander. But hopefully this like lowers their defenses and they feel like it's safe to Ask their commander? Maybe they forgot about the lockbox. This equals five. Oh no, it's seven mana! Whenever opponent casts a spell, maybe to remember if you do carpet spell. Dang it. <laughs> no, it worked against us! Resolve. We have to take that. We have our own meat hook massacre. Resolve. Move you. See, but we get the drain triggers and they don't. Did it. Who's the real winner now? Okay, so we're in real danger now. Xander is gonna make us discard our hand. So I think we down as many clues as possible. Throw it on you. Draw two. Hey, more clues. I'd love to see it. Is this rounded up or down? Rounded down. So I think it's safe. It's enter. Sell the graveyard, which is Honestly, fine. One, two, three. So we can draw two cards. This, draw the one. Oh. Okay. So now we start cracking clues and hope we find a piece of removal or exile. That's good. Not in this moment. Metamorph. Oh, that's kind of funny. We do that. Let's do that. That's a fun move. Uh, okay. We will. Okay. I don't know why it's asking. We have our own Xander. <laughs> we got there in the end. Mightstone, weak stone, target creature, and then this says when it dies, target opponent sacks half their non land permanent to control around it down. We can always bounce Xander. We're the only one with the Xander. And because I don't want to discard, we're going to hit the Celestis. Take that! One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, we'll swing out. Down to 17. 
Go back for Xander. We draw a card. <clears throat> All right, there's protection. Uh, we will discard the weak stone. Okay, interesting developments here. What do we want to do? We go for the commander, though, then we do not have. Oh! Why do I do that all the time? I did not mean to cast my commander. <laughs> um, if I do this, hope for a land so we can get the Terries. Oh, that feels bad. Oh, no. Things aren't going the way I wanted them to. Into tap land. Dang it. Hey, but you're good. Well, once again, I succumb to my own hubris and... Mills, and that's an attack trigger, eh? Yeah, that is unfortunate. <laughs> Can't believe I, I always do that too. I go to look at them and uh, accidentally cast them instead. But that's okay. We're gonna figure this out. They can mill us. It's fine. And they swing. They mill half our library. Do we care? Do we want this? Uh, Celepod. I don't think we do. So we do have lethal on board. Choose blockers. No blockers. Hit me. Ah. They need to do the board wipe. Shoot the bog. Yeah, that's bad, but. We don't have any recursion. Ooh, that was a fun sound. Do they have the board wipe? The board wipe ends us. We have 36. Um, I think that's okay. Drop sure. And then each player shops their hand in the graveyard. Draw seven. Yeah, I'm okay with that. They only have one mana left. And. We have lethal. So we did it! Oh! A little anticlimactic at the end, but uh, that was still a good game. GG's. All right, hopefully you enjoyed that. I had a lot of fun recording. And I'm not just saying this. I actually had a lot of fun recording this commander. I had a lot of fun games, and I was able to kind of have some fun interactions and fun gameplays to uh, post in this video. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like leave me a comment let me know your thoughts on the video let me know if actually no you know what if you're still watching this please 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 let me know what your thoughts are on that lockbox i can't remember the full name of it right now but i, I genuinely want to know because i've heard nobody talk about it and it feels like it's either such a great card or such a black card and i just don't know yet so please let me know your thoughts on that card and uh, i might try and run it in a few more decks here in the future just to kind of see if it's worth it because if no one else is going to chart that path i will i'll be the one but without further ado, I uh, just want to thank you again. Um, again, all this wouldn't be possible without having the viewership. So, like, truly, truly mean. Thank you very much. And uh, that's it for today. So I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.